420 points improvement guide on the SAT, my boy Bubberkai. Yeah, clap everyone, clap. See, this, this is remarkable. A little while ago, I had a story of 500 points improvement. Now here, 400 points started from 1080 to 1500 on the SAT. Bubber, why don't you show your actual account? This was the 1080. Then. Go closer so they can hear. You see, you see this like 1080 let me show him again you see this guy's 1500 right and then it was uh, at the bottom if I go if I go right here you see this 1080 and then if I scroll you can go up to 1500 that's a motivation this kid you probably want to hear his story how this kid improved 400 points that's legit you guys this legit proof good oh. Bobber, so how you feeling today must be amazing i'm right? feeling i've been excited i don't know yesterday i was jumping around when i first saw the score yeah wow and he said you know what he said when he first asked he said his father was crying right yeah wow he was crying when he Why? found out when he found he was crying so that means like everyone was emotional what about your sister oh my sister was yelling she went when i talked to her on the phone she was screaming with her friends and her, like she was so happy. So she was me. yelling in a, like a negative way or a positive, positive way? Positive, of way. course, 1500, it's not 1080 boss. But first time 1080 probably she was yelling at you in a negative way, right? Yeah. Oh boy, oh, you know, it's okay. So 1080 to 1500, so I don't have to describe it. What do you describe how you are feeling and how, how, how do you come up to this level? Oh, so I play how football. I play football, I practice from Monday all the way to Friday. I come home at 8, I don't even take a shower, I just eat food and I just go study SAT prep because I know this is my future and there's nothing more important than this. So you gotta be persistent in life because you gotta find time for most of your things or you won't be successful in the future. Wow, you see that? He is a very hard working guy. He plays football Monday through Friday? Yeah. And then, aren't you like tired? Yeah, I'm extremely tired when I come back home. And still, you had this motivation to sit at your study table and study SAT? Yeah. Wow, that's a big clap, guys, I'm telling you. But now, wait, what is your GPA, school GPA? My school GPA is like an 87. 87, so that's why you thought your SAT is the only hope? Yeah, the SAT is the only way I was going to get into school that I want to go to. So what kind of college do you want to go to? I want to go to University of Michigan. Well, wow, to study uh, what? Computer engineering. So he wants to go to the University of Michigan to study computer engineering. Wow, you see this stuff. So he knew what he was going for. Okay, his GPA might have been affected because of his heavy sports that he has to practice and put a lot of time into it. But he realized that even if he studies harder, he can't make a big difference in the GPA, but he can make a difference on the SAT, right? Yeah. That's why a student 1080 to 1500, how much persistency how much motivation and perseverance you need to go up to this level. Just think 10 seconds and feel it. Right now, I usually ask these questions to all of my students. Yeah. Name one thing that really changed you and then you think that can change a lot of students who are watching today. What I said before, you gotta be persistent. You gotta have time. If you don't have time, you won't be able to become what you wanna be when you grow up and be your future. So it's all important about being persistent. See, it's a persistency. Say, okay, my philosophy is what? I mentioned so many times in so many of my videos. Let me repeat again. Motivation plus hope is equal to everything. And this guy just added persistency. Of course, you have, he was persistent after playing all these games and everything, then he was persistent. Without having this persistency, he wouldn't be able to cope up with this. Maybe one day, two day practice a safety and they're like, you know what, forget it, I'm tired. But this guy did not give up. Because of this not giving up, he was able to achieve that kind of high scores, guys, okay? So that is the message. Every single video that we are bringing you to, guys, each video has a unique message. From him, we got persistency. From others, we got goals, we got motivations, and so on and so forth. But for him, you know, persistence. So please be consistent and persistent when you are studying for SAT and do not give up or do not lose hope. If he can improve 400 something points, you can improve too. Alright guys, so let's hope and pray that Babur Khan <laughs> becomes a very successful person one day. So we will come back to you with more and more stories later. Until then, be safe. Bye bye.